Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Story. Today we're doing Piranha Grove on page 4. This one... I don't like it for personal reasons, I'll just say that. Not a fan of piranha plants. It, was, it is a bit of a pain. Um, so if there's obvious melons right there. Okay, this is a new enemy. It's a little uh, piranha plant thing. If you get too close, it'll try to grab you with its tongue and eat you. And if it eats you, not only do you take damage, and... Well, not only do you take damage, you'll also lose all your eggs that you're carrying, and it'll turn you into a little tiny Yoshi. Which doesn't jump as high and various other... Well, I think you're not as fast, too, but... As far as I know, they don't actually... They're not worth any actual points in the end, either, which is kind of annoying, but... They only take one egg to kill, at least. Just one direct hit, or I think the sparks do it, too. And we've got four very easy melons right off the bat, but they're not all really easy, really. Anyway, you just go up here with our egg. The worst part is you have to get past that first piranha plant thing without without any eggs. The only way you can kill it was the egg. Anyway, here we have a little piranha plant on a, that gets up in your way. Kind of like a blarg in a little bit of a way, but... I mean, if you touch the vine, it'll hurt you, but then just hit the head with an egg and it'll fall over. While it's in the falling over animation, the the, spike, the stalk won't hurt you, so you don't need to wait for it or anything, but shooting in the stalk with your egg will not kill it, so you do have to actually hit it in the head. Those ones are all heads, so... Yes, there is an actual, actually a cliff right there, so be very careful trying to get behind this block to push it. I found that out the hard way once. Anyway, there's six melons in this first section, and here's the other two right there. Move up a little bit so you don't ac accidentally grab the grapes. And a bunch of heart coin hearts! You know, so, you don't, so you don't accidentally grab the grapes when you're getting the heart fruit. I also found that out the hard way. Anyway, that's it for section one. Moving on to section two. Now we finally actually have to sniff. I don't remember exactly where everything is, but I have a general idea. Oh yes, there's platforms right here. Bunch of flying shy guys. And we go up here. Find the first heart. Nothing else up here. And you want to kind of be quick for this section, as much time as I'm taking, because right over here there's whoa, a melon on a little um, floaty thing. If you wait too long, then it'll fall off the screen. But amazingly enough, it will actually come back if you leave the area and then come back. It, stop it, lag! Come on. Anyway, on this warp two, this one right here. I don't know how I missed that one on my <laughs> blind run, but... Uh, oh well. Yeah, this is annoying. Okay, there's a quick dropping melon right there. It cannot land on the moving platform, so you do have to actually grab it out of the air. Yeah. Not that bad, I suppose, if you're like, because you're like right next to it, but... Haha! Run for you. I am not food, you will not eat me. Okay, and we got melon here. Oop, I mean heart root. It's more of a distraction than anything really. Over here there's a melon. Because I mean there's the coin trail and, and you wanna grab the coin trail, but there's melons. So if you try to grab the coin trail then you're gonna skip them. I think that was the last one anyway, but I will. Okay, going up here. And we get another one. Ah, crud. Oh, okay, going back down. Yeah, it's gone now, but... Now I can show you that... Hopefully it still will... Come back when I go back up. Oop. Yep, there it is again. Try this again. Eh, catch up. My lag. Okay, nothing there. Go to the 
Piranha Plant flying thing. Okay, this one is annoying. It's This is a 10 coin block, and you're on a moving platform. But it's actually not that hard if you do it right. Basically, just um, keep jumping. As long as you do it at a good pace, you'll mostly stay in the same spot. And you get a heart fruit for it. Well, you get a melon, which gives you a heart fruit if you're doing it right. Ah, oh, crud. I don't know if those things can hurt you when you're super happy. I would not be surprised. Hopefully they can't, but who knows. And I don't know why the platforms are red now. Anyway. Oh, there's not one there. I thought there was. Uh, moving on. You'll get up to 15 when you complete this section. Ah, I keep forgetting about those. Anyway, there's... Whoa! Camera problems. Anyway. Yes, camera problems in a 2D game. Amazing. Okay, there's nothing there, I'm pretty sure. Maybe there is. Oh no. Last one. And here we have heart number two. And there's a melon there. Be careful of the watermelon. Of course. I just tend to do it. Try to eat straight forward instead of eating up. Anyway, that's it for this section. Moving right along. We have 15 melons, as you can see. Here's Miss Warp 3. And here we have a new ones. Um, they're pretty much exactly like the flying ones, except they never move. They just sit there. And if you touch them, then you lose your eggs, and you turn tiny, and you take damage. Their existence is pointless. Except as getting in the way, I guess. Anyway, you guys die now. Four, five, six. I think there. Oh yeah, there's one over here. Nine, sixteen. Okay, we have these big wooden ball things now. They function. Whoa! Whew, that was close. They function pretty much as you expect. If you step on one that not directly on the center, then you'll roll one way or the other. Like towards whichever side that you're on. Stop it! It's really kind of just best to not try to stop on top of them. You can also push them and they'll roll, but they don't roll on their own very much. And you can... you can kill the little piranha plant guys with them. You can't hurt the tall ones, but... Uh, yes, there's a lock right there. I oh, am aware. Uh, and flying shy guys. This one's a five coin spread. Helen, <laughs> there's a coin trail up there, kind of pointless. Doesn't help me at all. And like a little coin flower, I guess. Yeah. I feel like I missed something snippy. I'm gonna go back and check. No, I didn't. <sighs> Right. Moving along. Up here. And here we refill our eggs. And there's a little secret here, sort of. There's two ways to get to this. One is this way. Just jumping up onto these clouds. The other way is here there's a... Whoops! There's an exclamation point thing there. You can get it from there or you can even see it if you're on the rolling wooden thing, but there's nothing up here. My best guess is that it's a white shy guy, and seeing as I don't haven't lost any Yoshis, um, there's nothing there. I'll maybe look into that later and I'll put an annotation or something if I figure it out, I don't know. Anyway, now we're rolling the block ball on some spikes. If you touch the spikes, you'll take damage, obviously. Not that bad, but it's really hard to jump off of one of those while it's falling, if you need to. And we got pink blue guys. This one changes really fast for some reason, I'm not sure why. But it's simple enough to take out still. And yes, being on the side when it's falling is not very good either. Okay, just hang out here for a second, wait for these to change. Two of them here. Flag. Eh. Okay. Keep going. 
gonna roll it to the edge here. Don't fall off, because there's pot here. We must go to the spot and find our mini game. This mini game, I don't know. Maybe it's hard in some way, but if you're smart, it's completely easy. Just run ahead to check the course. Hey, piranha plant things. There's two of them. That's the entire course, really. The, the rest is just flat ground. This is a really freaking easy melon crates game for this late in the game. I mean, I guess the level is annoying enough as it is, so maybe they decided to give us a break. Huh. Anyway, yeah, just go ahead, kill the... Kill the piranha plants and <laughs> walk the rest of the way. Anyway, literally completely flag ground. <laughs> anyway, we'll have three melons left to get at this point. They're not that bad, I guess, but uh, can be a little difficult to not get yourself killed in this section. <laughs> if break. Okay, go back. Whoa, I just fell through that block. Put over here, just to get him to respawn properly. Okay, and we're back. No, 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 no. Yeah, gotcha. There's our last heart over there. Hit you in the face. Please don't die. Hit. Okay, still good. We get these guys again. You can't stomp on them or eat them. Eating them will hurt you. Unless you're a black shy guy or something, or a white shy guy. So I'll just jump through. Eh. Did I? Yes, I got it. Okay. Here we your leg throwing. And here's Miss Warp 4. Let's try to not jump on it this time. Oops. What? Oops. Come on. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Last gnome. Right there. So, that's it for Piranha Grove. Pain of a level that I've been trying to avoid, really. But it wasn't that bad, besides the fact that it's full of Piranha Plants. I don't know, maybe maybe they do count and it just doesn't show the little hard thing, because it's 78 enemy points that doesn't... I didn't. I don't think I killed that many shy guys, I don't know. I mean, not 78 shy guys, but half of that, maybe three points, well, six points for some of them. Anyway, moving on. Not as good of a score as my blind run, but I guess I grabbed more coins there. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. And story sequence. And that's it for, for Piranha Guru, thankfully enough. Next time we'll be moving on to Shy Guy Limbo. Thanks for watching, everybody.